what is it? Macaroni. Yeah, it's macaroni. Okay. But it's not just macaroni. I want you to use your imagination for a moment. Okay? I want you to imagine that this piece of macaroni here represents everything about your organization. It represents the history, the passion of the volunteers, the resources, the programs, the facilities, your staff, everything rolled up, your mission, your vision, all rolled into one piece of macaroni. It's, a, it's an awful big piece of responsibility for that piece of macaroni. And when we go to raise money, we oftentimes go out and we talk about our needs, right? We say we have needs, and so we put our hand out and we're looking, we talk about our needs. But needs are not enough. And I'll just, I'll just demonstrate a little example here. Would you help me count the hands that go up here? Okay, just count the hands carefully. So, how many people here represent an organization that don't have needs? Yeah, did you get, did you get all the hands? <laughs> Look, you all have needs, so set that aside. Needs are important, but they're not enough. When you're going to raise money, it's not going to be enough to talk just about needs. Jerome, who do you work for? Uh, UNHCR. Yep. UNHCR. Another government large organization working on the international front. Great. And how come I should give you money? Why should I give you money? <clears throat> Because we fight for a cause that nobody else uh, really fights for. Like well, maybe that's the reason I shouldn't give it to you. Nobody else wants to. Why should I give it to you? <laughs> now, I'm picking on Jerome. You're special. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking on Jerome, but look at people. If you can't answer these tough questions about beyond needs, you aren't going to get far enough. Because I'll tell you the sad thing about that piece of macaroni. You're not the only piece of macaroni. Oh. And if you can't find a way to differentiate yourself from the other piece of macaroni, you're going to flounder. There are hundreds of thousands of causes in the world. Some are lucky enough to have a good name like UNHCR. Some don't. Some are small and unknown. So I want to give you some help in how to differentiate your case in major gift fundraising. I want to give you two words, okay? The first is compelling. So these over here are organizations that have needs, but they're also compelling. They have a compelling case. What do I mean by compelling? Motivate you to give. All right, so what is compelling about your organization? Have you really given thought to what will compel people to want to be motivated to give you money. That is a conversation that belongs, actually starts starting where? At what level of your organization should that conversation begin at? Your board. Now, of course, a lot, a lot of our board members will say, that's the fundraiser's job. <laughs> no. Begins here. What's the compelling reasons why I should give to you NHCR? Now, here's another word for you. Urgent. These ones have needs, they're compelling, and they're also urgent. If you're not an urgent case, what will people do? Wait. Wait. Oh, they'll wait. Next year. Totally. I've got a tsunami to deal with. I've got a brush fire to deal with. I've got a whatever. You know, these, this is where you want to be, guys. Compelling and urgent and your list of needs identified. Don't get stuck in here. You'll get lost. Donors want to see that you have a compelling thought, a compelling case of needs that you've thought through. That's urgent. Okay? So I'll invite you to take a piece of macaroni back with you and we'll carry on with our next part of the conversation. Okay? okay. Good timing, Howard.